Well, we're, we're heading down to Steve's, assuming we can find our way down there in this pseudo fog. Yeah, it's not a black and white movie. I mean, you can see my purple coat. Everything yeah. else is black yeah. and white. Actually, it's yeah, it looks black and white, but yeah. it's just, we're so sick of winter. Yeah. We want to go to Colorado. We want to go to Nevada. Right. We want to go to California. Right. And it's just, meh, yeah. you know, it's just, meh. everything's all gray yeah. and it's cold and you don't really dare travel anywhere or do anything. Anyway, we're just looking forward. In the meantime, what does one do when one is kind of cabin fever homebound? One plays with trains. Absolutely. So we're heading down to Steve's house to play with trains. Now in the Christmas show, we showed you that he had started on a bridge. <laughs> a bridge doesn't go anywhere. It's the official bridge to nowhere. Right. Uh, the sky bridge. He's decided he's going to build a whole lake and he's started roughing that in and wow. there's going to be a little wharf and everything, but it's this mm. high mountain Lake Tahoe kind of lake. Wow. But I'm asking him to please name the village up there Nowhere so we don't have to go back and change the name of the show from a bridge <laughs> to nowhere that it can still just be a bridge to nowhere. Yeah. And that just means, you know, and that's such a classically sort of old yeah. westy kind of name, yeah. the village of nowhere. Yeah. So anyway, check this out, The Bridge to Nowhere. This is the mining district on Steve Stribble's ON30, ON3 Railroad. If you've been watching the show for a while, you're very familiar with Steve Stribble's Railroad. We, we come here a lot because, well, it's just frankly amazing. This is the 30-inch gauge mine tram that comes up to the mining district. The rest of the railroad is all laid in 3-foot gauge, ON3. This is the shoe kill mine, and if you've seen the show we did on that a while back, it has a complete working underground. How cool is that? The new section is going to be built on top of this huge beam here. That's because uh, in a previous life, Steve's house was actually a barn. The whole mining district over here is also sitting astraddle one of these beams. As of now, the new little village up here doesn't look like much of anything, but Steve has big plans for a lake and a forest and a nice little village here. And so now the 30 inch gauge tram extends clear over to the top of the other beam. One of the big problems here is all of this mining district will be pretty much inaccessible once the bridge is in. And so the bridge has to be removable. But it isn't all that easy to take it in and out. So Steve wanted to make sure that he had the whole mining district buttoned up here and all the details in place before really moving on with the bridge and the upper village. There's a whole lot of 18 inch gauge track in here for the ore cars and all of that needed to be finished up. The biggest thing is Steve wanted to build a whole little car facility here for the 18 inch gauge ore cars. So he built that at the bench and then got that installed. There are a few buildings that have been added that until now have only existed in Steve's mind, so he wanted to get those done, and some railings and a few little things like that that needed to be added in. He also built this rather large two-story structure just to finish out this lower area here. And because Steve's entire railroad is lit, he had to get all of the building lighting and street lighting in place here in the mining district. Takes a lot of time to pull all these little wires and rig all these light bulbs. So all of that needed to be finished up before the bridge got installed. Now here you can see the footings that hold the entire bridge up. And if you look closely, the footings have little brass pins sticking out of them. And that's what holds the bridge and registration as the various pieces go in place. The whole thing goes together sort of like a giant 3D puzzle. There's several large sections of bridge that fit down on top of the pins, and then those sections as well have pins to interlock them with each other. 
So there's a very specific assembly order where each piece is put in in order and interlocks with the other pieces. And then at that point, it's actually a fairly strong freestanding structure. At the very end, a handful of screws are put up in through the bottom and then that locks it so it can't come back apart. It's really fun to watch Steve putting this thing together, but the mind-boggling part of it is trying to imagine how he figured the whole thing out in the first place and designed the whole thing and then built the whole thing in such a way that all of these pieces actually interconnect this way. The track is, of course, all laid in place, and then rail joiners are slid back along the rail, and once everything's in place, the rail joiners can just be scooched over to the gap, locking the rails together, and also ensuring electrical conductivity. Steve has to be a bit of a contortionist to work in this section right here, slid in between the benchwork and the bridge. And now the aforementioned screws are run up through the bottom and that locks the whole thing together in such a way that it just won't come back apart until you take the screws out. And now the rail joiners can be slid across the gaps joining all the rails together and providing electrical conductivity from one end of the bridge to the other. And at this point it should be ready to run trains. And so, of course, it works perfectly. It's really scary, though, because the trains are about seven feet up off the floor, and you've got your precious little trains running along above your head here, and yeah, it's a little scary thinking they might roll off of there and commit suicide on the floor. Well, now the work at the village end begins. There's nothing up here right now, but Steve has a vision in his own mind, and I'm sure when he looks here, he sees a lake and a wharf and a bunch of buildings. He's already started on some pine trees and whatnot, and pretty soon, this will be the view from the new village. Well, just about the time you think you've seen everything on Steve's railroad, he comes up with something like this. When it comes to screwing around, Steve certainly has made it into a high art. Well, that is one heck of a bridge. My goodness. The only thing, you know, it used to be you'd see the railroad and you're going, oh, there's a village over and there's something over, oh, and look down here, there's this wharf, and look at the sailing ships. Mm -hmm. And now you just can't help walking into that room and going, <laughs> There's a bridge. There's a bridge. Uh, and in your case, you have to be really careful. You'd walk into it. Yeah, no kidding. you got to go under gotta, the bridge yeah, and through the tunnel jump. and yeah. over the river and to the woods. <laughs> it's like this bridge is just as big as the room. And, right. and, and, and it's got these little 30-inch gauge trains meandering uh -huh. across the top. It's cool. And it's also terribly scary because here's your nice little models and they're like seven feet off the floor. Right, no need to, no, no, I don't yeah. derailments. I can't talk either. <laughs> it's, it's only like a scale 130 feet high, but it's still like seven feet to the floor yeah. for some poor little See, neat engine that you've been working on. I talking about it. I just wrapped my tongue around my head. Can you imagine so riding the train and being a passenger? You look over the edge and first of all, you're shocked at how high up you are. And right. then the next thing that hits you is there's a person standing there that's as tall as the bridge yeah Oof. so that'd be a little <laughs> weird too anyway i digress <laughs> but that's neat it's a it's a heck of a bridge it's, it's a heck of a bridge and if i know steve it's going to end up with something resembling christmas lights on i mean he'll it's just keep something he'll keep adding to it and there'll be pumping mm -hmm. stations and foot bridges and ladders going down for 300 feet right. and who knows everybody lives in his towns are very physically fit very physically fit anyway the bridge to nowhere that was that was fun next week we're back here again because we've been sitting on a show that we shot months and months and uh -huh. months ago because we were doing a thing with the 
the uh, Narrow Gauge Gazette, and they're going to do an article and this and this. Well, the Gazette's been sold and everything, and it's like, well, I'm getting kind of tired of waiting. We're just going to run the show. Right. I wanted it to come out with the Gazette article, right. and I thought that would be really neat and, mm -hmm. and, and so on. But I, I don't know when the article's ever going to come out. And the movie might become obsolete in today's Yeah, movie. who knows? By, by that time, you know, as trains. Or, you know, the mall railroading hobbies died off. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead next week and run the new little village, mm -hmm. the lower Pandora, uh -huh. um, at the bottom of the mill with the new iron-legged water tank uh -huh. and this nifty coaling tower. It's just an amazing little area and that's next week's show. So come back and see that. If you uh, haven't been over to the channel and watched the other 180, oh, close, it's, close it's, uh, 100, it's coming up on 180 shows. Get on over there and watch that because it's an awful lot of fun. And if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> but remember we're coming up on tax season. So oh. this is an opportunity to do all those stupid things you've been putting off like your income taxes. And if one of those stupid things you've been putting off is clicking on the blue button, here's your opportunity because you're ready for it. Zoink! Blue yeah. button <laughs> right there. Way easier than a 1040. Right. Click and you're done. You're, you're done. a subscriber. Not takes painful. you to the channel. <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again in one week with Lower Pandora. Yay. See ya. Bye bye. bye, -bye. But it's fun.